In this lesson, we will make our board. Here is our board. Let's go to our 3ds Max. Let's isolate this chest. And let's hit M to, achieve, to open material editor. Here is a new material, standard. Choose very material. We will make a white value in diffuse. Hit on Fresnel. We will leave everything as it is. Our work gonna be in the maps. So here is our maps. Let's start with our diffuse. Hit on it. Choose bitmap. And let's choose our wood from Osea. This is gonna be our base color. It needs uh, some work. We will hit on bitmap. Choose color correction. Keep old map. Show shaded material in viewport and let's work on it. First, we need to take some saturation off it. Then we need head on advanced. We need to make some edits in gamma to 0 0.2, 0 0.5, 0 0.3. Take some saturation. Let's check our reference. Let's get back to our 3ds Max. Maybe something like this. Now let's make a copy to reflect. And in this reflect, we will make some other edits. Now let's drag our color correction an instance so we can see what's happening to our image. Take all the saturation of it. Now from gamma, let's take it higher. Something like this. I like this value. Let's make sure Friend is selected. Now it's time to add a reflection glossiness. Hit OK. Copy. Make it 2. Or 2.5 maybe you need to tweak some things make two here let's first add bomb copy at five something very low pump maybe you need to tweak some things first of all let's try to reduce this to see what we're gonna get Maybe three is okay. And then reflection glossiness. Maybe you need a higher amount. Maybe five. Maybe higher. Six. I think I'm getting what I want. Now let's make this four. I think I like three better. Now I think I'm satisfied with my, with my material. Now let's apply it to our model. And this is going to be our first model to apply it to. Here it is. Let's add a UVW modifier box and let's hit bitmap fit and choose the same material so we can get the correct size now let's align it in X 
okay now it's looking good maybe we need to rotate this one in Z let's hit gizmo and rotate it now let's make it something like 100 by 50 by 100 I think now it's looking good so it's time to make a copy and apply it here too right click paste an instance make another copy apply it here paste an instance make another copy paste without an instance so we can rotate it in this way and here to apply paste I think I like this direction but I think we're gonna need to rotate it or something in Y I see that's better so here is our wood material I think we need to take our diffuse to 50 and make some adjustments in diffuse color maybe something like this going to be better now let's unhide all and let's see this one too open now let's apply an instance an instance based so we can move our align here based let's get back to our image it's actually this way so we will keep it this way unhide all as we can see it's here too and I think now we have our wood done so in the next lesson we'll continue making our materials